Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a uh, burn testing and HT testing on all these candles that I uh, been saving there for this occasion. So if you want to see how this test goes, keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're gonna be doing some uh, burn testing on different candles that I, uh, uh, that I poured like, uh, a couple of weeks ago. So now that I'm, uh, they're all being cured, I just wanna see the, uh, the real test, which means uh, about the fragrance, okay guys? So I'm gonna put together all the candles that we have already cured and I'm gonna put them to a test, okay? So let me get everything ready and I'll be right back, yes! Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna start making the uh, HT test. And so I'm gonna be using the first candle that I'm gonna be testing. It's gonna be, I don't know if you remember this uh, amber candle that I used. Uh, I did it on 9-11. Uh, so it's been over two weeks. Um, uh, the fragrance oil that I have in here, the bulb from uh, Candle Science. I use uh, rosemary sage and ocean rose, okay? So, so I'm gonna do, okay, it's uh, 11.30 guys. I'm gonna place this candle uh, in the bathroom next door. I'll be right back because I wanna test the different rooms. So, okay, so let me just write in here. The first candle that I have is from 9-11. Okay, so I'm, I started at 11 20, 25. Okay, so I have it written there, so I can remember. Okay, so the next candle, let's go back. It was on 9 14. And it's this one here, the green color candle. And this I'm using at uh, the wax tap, I'm using C3 soy wax. And I'm using black currant and jasmine. And I'm using dragon's blood. And I'm using a CD20 ear wick. So I'm gonna keep right over there. So let me just mark it in the board. And it's at 11.30. Okay. Uh, Squirrel dover wood. Okay, let me just get it. Okay, so it's this one, and the fragrance is Ocean Rose. Yeah, it's all Ocean Rose. Um, I'm not really smelling any uh, CT on this one. Okay, uh, I'm using the Whisper Week uh, uh, 0 0.2, uh, 0.5 thickness, I mean width. So, okay, so let me just, no CT whatsoever. Let's hopefully the, oh, and I, and I see in here, uh, separation from the, from the wax and the container. So this is AGI 6046. So now I know. Okay, so let's see how this one goes. And this one I'm gonna put on the living room. So we got that. Okay, so let me just put it in the board. Square and double wood. 135, 1135. So far we have one, two, three candles. Now let's go to the next one. Yes. Okay guys, so on September the 17th, that's when I did my double uh, double week test, which means I did, uh, I did like a cotton week and a wind week together. This is the, the one. And I did a burn test to make sure that uh, the wick was working, uh, but I did not uh, do a, an HT test. Oh my God, the fragrance is intense, it's beautiful. I'm using Golden Wax 444, and the fragrances that I'm using is a clean cotton and rainwater from uh, Candle Science, a 10% uh, load. So let me just, oh my God, it's beautiful. The CT on this one is excellent. And I love the way, you know what? Let me just trim the wicks in here. When you burn a candle, you're always supposed to uh, trim the wicks, guys. Especially this one, that has two. Perfect. Make sure you always. You don't have to do that uh, using, um, on the wooden wick, but when you have uh, like cotton wicks, it's a good idea to do it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put this in upstairs. Actually, no, I'm not putting in the kitchen. We are back. Okay, guys, I'm back because I didn't trim this week and it's going out of control. 
That's why I said I'll trim you weeks before you start light them up. And I didn't do that in this one, so I'm gonna trim it now. Okay. And I'm gonna start it up again. If you don't trim it, it's gonna give you a false, false test. Guys, I love this board here. I just got it at the supermarket. I think it's better for me to uh, see what I'm doing on the day and for you guys also to see. Let me see, and you can get it closer so you can see what I'm doing, you know. If I, if you need guys to take notes or anything, you know, it's right over there. Okay, so then, and this one, this test, from 917. And this is a uh, double wicking. I'm gonna put wood and cotton wick. And the time right now is 11.40. Well, we have a lot of testing to do, guys. I'm so glad because, you know, it's since I did all this testing, guys, I never like completed the um, the HT test, which I think it's the most important one. So, okay, let's keep going, guys. Okay, the next one, I did a test. Uh, it's from uh, 9-20-20. Ta-da! This one I'm using IGI 6046, which is coconut paraffin wax uh, combination. I'm using a CD18 wig. Um, I'm using gray for a mint plus Cedar wood and amber. Oh my god. I'm getting the city is not that it's not that much. You know there's some um somehow the these waxes guys the IGIs uh the the city it's very minimal okay so let's test this one here it looks like a great cup of coffee. And I'm using uh, one gram of dark brown uh, color. Okay, so let me just put this one. Uh, I'm gonna put it upstairs, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the other one, that one, I put upstairs in the laundry room. Okay, so the, uh, the gold scallop one, what's 124? Gold scallop. Okay, and I put it on 11.50 a.m. Okay guys, and, those, and that's all the, the candles that I have for testing. Uh, let me see if I have the testing sheet for the, for the color ones that I did. Hold on. I also have a couple of candles that I made with uh, 6046, 46 uh, wax. But since I'm not gonna be working on 646 ever again, I mean, on the foreseeable future, I'm not gonna waste my time or energy uh, doing a burn test. And this is the one that I did with the Alex test. Uh, I think it's the same, the same uh, CT. I'm not gonna be wasting my time on that one. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna, uh, I have all these uh, candles in here uh, that I finished, that's already, these were my, my first candles that I have. Uh, let me just show you. So I have all these candles. These were my first candles that I did, you know, at the beginning of the month. And so I I don't want to throw away the, the vessels, so I'm gonna melt them. I'm gonna melt these waxes, guys. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to reuse the containers. I'm gonna show you how I get rid of all these waxes and I, uh, and you could uh, recycle this. Okay guys, so the, uh, the last candle that I'm gonna be putting for, uh, for a burn test, it's remember the three candles that I use for the, for the Bar 260 test. So this is the, uh, these are the three uh, vessels that I got. These are from Dollar Tree. So what I did remember, this one, uh, this, uh, this candle, I did not put any, any Vibar. This one I put uh, four pellets of the Vibar, I remember. And in this one I put eight pellets of the Vibar. So, because it was such such a tiny amount, I just did it by pellets just to make, uh, I didn't wanna put too much. So in this one, in these three candles, they are made with IGI 6006. 
Um, why don't you, well, this one have a thing called in here. So anyway, so why don't you guys told me that uh, Vibar 260 is not made to be used with IGI 6006 due to the fact that uh, Vibar 260 is for uh, wax that melts at, at a lower point of 130. IGI 6006, the melting point is 133. So anyway, let's see if it works. I'm gonna put the three of them at a test. So I'm gonna put one in, in each bedroom upstairs. So let me just, um, I'll learn my lesson, I think less is more. I think a quarter of an inch is perfect. Okay, I think they're all the same. So I'm gonna light this one up first. This one has no vibrar. Oh, by the way, the uh, um, let me give you the, uh, the fragrance oils. Uh, it's uh, equal amount of sea minerals. Uh, let's see, is that what it is? Sea minerals. This one I use for all the three of them. Let me just put in here the date. 926. This kind of multi-use label, so I can just put in when, I, when I'm testing, because that's my fault. I haven't really like been uh, putting labels in them, so I get confused, 92620. Okay guys, so let me just put that on the bottom, on the bulletin board now. Vibar test. I put a 12 or five. Noon. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wait two hours and I'm gonna go upstairs and smell the house. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be reusing these vases that I'm that having here because that I I'm not gonna be doing any more testing for this. And I'm gonna be able to use the uh, the containers. It's like guys, you know, I have, I'm ordering the most beautiful vases uh, from a company, it's called Swiss 16 Candles, 16 Candles, something like that. Anyway, uh, this, this is a very expensive, uh, they're very expensive uh, containers made, made of ceramic. And let me see if I find the, the paper for this test because those smell so good. I just want to find out what what they are. You know, it's, it's such a pity that I don't remember. Let me just waxes for uh, for melt. And I'm gonna do a separate video on that because uh, so far I'm being very successful in getting a wonderful heat throw uh, using a pillar of bliss wax, and I'm also getting uh, the most amazing. He throw using California candles at tart wax is over 30. I highly recommend that one. It's amazing guys. I also did some candle melts, not candle, uh, some wax melt using IGI 6006, uh, but I wasn't too, I wasn't too keen uh, on the fragrances that I use. I use sweet grass and violet and lush linen. Um, the combination is not good. So yeah. So that's all the testing that I have so far. So I, I can't find this, the testing sheet for this. I mean, it smells amazing. The combination, I wish I knew. I remember what. Guys, I'm, I'm so happy that you guys are really receiving positively. Uh, very, I'm very, very, no. I'm very humbled that you have really like taken my channel, that you like my channel and you like my videos, you know? That means the world to me. Okay, these are soy candles. It says creating effect on soy. Oh, this is 464 soy wax. Four sixty four, but I want to know the fragrances. Oh, so good. Okay, so I, I know that four sixty four. So let me just go uh, uh, to past videos and see uh, which videos I use these two containers because I'm I'm pretty sure that I made a video on this. 
Okay, this is the this is the Aga, the Alex method. This is the one. Let me see. Okay, guys. So I found the formula for the Alex method uh, candle that I made, and uh, then I use it to color ones. Guys, this is a formula that I'm gonna be testing all over again, and I'm gonna be testing it on different waxes because I think this is gonna be one of the candles that I wanna put for sale. This, the fragrance is. Oh my god, this is so different from any candle that I smell in the market, guys. Oh my goodness, it's the cold throw in here in 464. Uh, it's amazing. It's truly, truly, truly amazing. You know, and I have to say, I'm very surprised that this is 464 wax. Uh, because the finish is really like smooth. It's not that. I think I use the, uh, you know what it is? I think I use the heat gun to melt uh, the colors together. That's why it looks like this. Uh, but let me just, I need to, I love the scent, guys. This is, I think from all the candles that I made, this is the most beautiful scent that I've ever made. And I'm definitely gonna be making this in different waxes. Because as you know, guys, I'm trying, I'm gonna be putting out a uh, line of candles at the beginning of 2021, most likely on the spring. So I'm just trying with the idea of different, uh, I'm gonna put this in, in the color bar and let's see how the fragrance develops. I love the combination. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you something else. So guys, this video is all over the place, but you know what, it's uh, sometimes that's the way it is. So this is, these are the three different fragrances that I use on that combination. And I'm gonna be ordering the bigger size. Uh, this is bergamot and ambergris. Amazing. This one is blue, blue jasmine and royal fern. Oh my god, even this one by itself. Blue jasmine and royal fern. I feel like making a candle just with this one here. You know guys, I have to say, um, the Wooden Week Company has the most amazing fragrance oils. I know they are pricey, but you know what? It's, if you're trying to put out a high-end line that I'm trying to, that's me. Uh, let me see this one, Fig Leaf and Galbanum. It's so sensual. Let me try this and, and the Blue Jasmine together. Uh, no, the, the fig leaf and galbanum takes over this one. So if I were to do this combination, I would have to do uh, three parts of this and one part of this. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm gonna make a candle, these two. This one is, I think it's uh, uh, too overpowering for the two of them. I think I'm gonna add those, the, I'll make a candle with these two. Uh, but let me just go to the wooden wick candle and let me just order uh, more of this, more oil because I don't have enough. Sometimes when you smell candles uh, another day, you know, uh, how you call it, uh, you have to give it time. I've seen a lot of people uh, trying this, this orange blossom. I'm gonna order these two, orange blossom and fig. Okay, and the next one, Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern. I'm gonna try this Pink Peony and Nectarine. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna search for uh, Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern. Okay. The top notes is Pink Pepper, Bergamot. Okay, that's why when I tried to, to pair with the Bergamot and Ambergris, it was too much. That's why, because it has uh, Bergamot and clover fern, middle note, the rose, jasmine, geranium, and the base is incense, oak moss, perfect, and oak uh, musk. This vibe is so good. Do I need anything else? Let me, let me just do a shake out if I need something else. Oh. I'm just gonna order now. 
and that's coming so i know guys i was gonna ask you have you guys tried using this glue this is what jeff stanley uses for his uh, bases uh the only problem that i don't want the only thing that i don't want to use this now is because i'm 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 still on the testing stage and if i glue the wicks to the vessel permanently i won't be able to use it again so that's why i'm gonna keep this when i start when i start doing my um my candles when I start selling them, okay? So I'm gonna put this aside in here. So this is the green candle. And let me just put this, let me just put this away. So let's see how these candles are doing. <clears throat> the ones that I'm testing. Uh, the green candle, uh, it's been an hour and five minutes. So let's see how the metal pool is looking. Let's see, I'm gonna bring you over guys, so you can see for yourself. It's uh, the weakest mushrooming. So... I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Let me see uh, what kind of week do I have for that one. This is why I'm putting the board on two tests, guys. Okay, so this one I'm using C3 Soy wax and I'm using a CD20 uh, wick which is the one that they recommended so this is this one here and it's been a little bit over an hour I mean it may be fine who knows okay so the next candle I want to go and take a look at is the, the ones outside let me just take this paper away from here because that could be a fire hazard, you know, you don't want to put anything playing the wall. Next to a candle, you have to be very careful, guys. Okay, that's far enough. Okay, so I'm going to take you to the other. Let's go outside, and it's been an hour, over an hour for all the rest of the candles. So let's go and take a look. I'm not taking the light outside. So. Okay, so this is... First bathroom in here. So this is the vessel. And this one. Okay, the wax in here is 6006. IDI 6006. And the wick is an Eco 18. Uh, the milk pool is not there yet. So let's keep waiting on that one. Uh, I'm not getting uh, I'm not getting a, a good uh, HD at all. Kind of disappointing. So that's the proof that uh, IGI 6006, I agree with a lot of the people um, that posted that comment that they don't see any uh, good HD on them. And now I see why. I mean, it's been an hour, oh my God, in here, we have this square candle. So let me just put the tripod here. Also another IGI, but this one is 6046. And I'm using two weeks at 0.2 weeks from the wooden week. Um, the width is uh, 0.5. I think the melt pool is excellent. It's almost, I mean, it's been an hour, a little bit over an hour. And look, it's, I think it's really good. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not getting any, any heat throw. It's very minimal. And I'm using o Ocean Rose. 10% fragrant load. I'm really not getting, I'm not, I'm not spending anything. That's really sad, you know? These IGI waxes, you know, they look beautiful, but they don't throw anything good. Okay, on this one here, I'm in the kitchen now. So this candle, the milk pool is looking really nice. And this is the uh, this is the one with the double wick. Remember that I used the the cotton and the and the wooden wick together. 
I'm using Golden Wax 444. And the heat throw is really nice. The heat throw is not overpowering, but it's nice, you know, it's like, it's building up. I think the, the mail pool is looking good. Yeah, I really like um, the HD on this one. You know, it's really nice. So, so far this one, let me just put a note in here. I'm just gonna put a note in here. Good. HD, after an hour. Uh, the mail pool is the mail pool is cool it's looking really nice okay after an hour okay so i'm very happy with this one so let's keep going after one hour i mean we're, we're gonna come back after two hours okay guys so don't uh it's not that i'm, I'm rushing now i just want to make sure that i document everything so after one hour good good pool for ht now uh, let's go to the amber container after one hour Poor, uh, poor mail pool. Um, let's go back and let's see how the, how do we feel about the, H, uh, the HT on that one. Poor. Poor HT. Oh my God, this smells so good in here. This is the one that I use the Vibar. Oh my God, this is excellent. This is the orange one. This is this is the, the middle one. Let me just put this in here. Guys, this candle, it smells so good. This is the one that I use by bar. In here, the melt pool is, is not there yet. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, let me just, let me just look in here. Okay, by bar, this is the middle one. This is the one that I use for pellets. I'm gonna put an uh, average, average too low. Okay, HT, excellent. I think it's so good, guys. I'm very happy, okay, because uh, I'm using this one, IGI 6006, again. And I use the Vibar 260. Okay, I understand it's not, be, it's not meant to be used from, on this wax, but I'm pretty sure that if I didn't put uh, any uh, Vibar, which we're gonna prove right now, right now because we have the other uh, candle right next door. So let me just go check. Remember, this is a bigger room. This is our master bedroom. Okay, the, the mail pool is almost there. And the wick is it's not really center. That's why it's, okay, so then, at the central, it's excellent. This mail pool is, is better than the other one. But I'm attributing this to the fact that uh, the week it's kind of pushing. Let me just try and push it to the middle with this. Center, that's gonna give me a better uh, mail pool. I find the flame a little bit too tall for this, can, for, for this size. Of candle, you know, I'm, I may need to wick down on this. I use uh, the candle wick that I use. The candle wick that I use for this, uh, it's it's the one that I got from Amazon. Okay, guys, and that candle, I was I forgot that I had the how you call it the ceiling fan going. That's why the the flame was so high. But turn it up. But this one here, it looks beautiful. Show you, let me just... This one is on the... The mail pool is excellent. Okay, uh... Mail pool. Excellent. HT. The HT is there, but it's poor. Uh, it's poor. So... Uh, that proves to me that the, uh, the Vibar 260 really works. And, and if I'm gonna be using this wax again, from now on, I'm gonna be adding Vibar because that proves to me that it's the only way that I can get a good heat throw. So, okay. Now this one, this one is my star candle, guys. Ta-ta-ta! 
Oh my god! Yes! Guys, we have a winner! Oh my goodness! It smells so good! Okay, so this one, let me see what kind of wax we have in here. Just, guys. Oof! Okay, let's see what kind of wax is this one. Wow, it smells out of this world. Okay, this one is IGI 6046, which is coconut paraffin. Um, the HT, amazing. Amazing. Okay, and the male pool. It's working there, I mean, it's fine. I wouldn't use any anything bigger. The flame is kind of uh, tall, so I wouldn't use any anything bigger. There's no air uh, blowing in here, so I'll say melt looks okay. It's a beautiful candle, guys. So we'll be back in an hour. So we have the the winners and the losers. So let's go back downstairs and let's continue. So guys, let me just show you something before I go downstairs. This is why it's so important uh, for you to order from a reputable candle supply if you're gonna be making candles, guys, because right now, you know, if this is, the wick in this is very, uh, I think it's too big. Uh, it's, it's throwing uh, a lot of soot, black smoke, and I don't want this to stay my, my ceiling because I have my ceiling, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna blow this, this candle off. And I'm gonna discard for this wax. I think I got the, the answer that I needed. I don't want to stain my ceilings. This candle, uh, this candle wick that I'm using, it's, they are from, uh, from Amazon. And they did not have any information on what they are, you know, and so I think these are way too big. And let me see the other, let me pull the other one too, the other one for the, on the other bedroom. So I don't want to sacrifice. Let's see this one is doing the same thing too. No, this one is doing fine. You see? So And what is the other one? The other one is in the other. So that... Okay, this one is gonna be doing the same thing too. Look at this. It's... I can see the... I can see the... The dark smoke going. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna blow this up. So I just wanted to verify about the Vibar test. And that's all I care. I know that I'm gonna be melting this and just reusing the containers, but I don't want to risk, you know, uh, harming my house paint with candles that are going to damage the paint. So I'm gonna put this candle out too. Again, the vibra really works but the wick doesn't. So for these candles, so the amber container, 11.25, now it's uh, one o'clock, and you can see the clock in there. So this one, okay, so this one failed. So I won't be using this combination anymore. IGI-6 in Nyx Vibar. Okay, then the green candle. So guys, the green candle has been on for almost two hours. Actually more, uh, I put it on at 11.30. So it's gonna be almost two hours at 1.30, so it's not there yet. Uh, I can see the melt pool is not good. So, I mean, so far, I think I'm gonna need to wake up. Let me just, let me just show it to you again. So this is the, it's been uh, almost two and a half hours. I think uh, the mail pulled 
it's not there yet. I think we need to wake up on this one. So we have a CD20, so we're gonna need a CD22. So let me just make a note in here. After two hours. And this means I'm using C3 soy. And not happy with the fragrance. So this one, guys, green candle also fail. That's why it's so important to test, guys. Okay, the next candle, I put this in at 11.35. So it's after two hours. So it's, it gave me a good melt pool, but poor HT. So this one, good melt, pool, no HT. Okay. So this is the one we need to work. Uh, again, this one is, um, I use IGI 6046. So we need to use Vibar on that one too. I'm telling you guys, Vibar is the bomb. Okay, the next one is double wood, the cotton and the, um, and the wooden wick. This one was excellent guys. Great in both. Good HD and good mail pool. Perfect. That's a winner for me so far. The gold scallop upstairs and that one I pulled like an hour ago and that one gets A plus. A plus. Very happy with the melt pool, I'm very happy with the heat throw and that one I use. Okay, so the, for this one, for the gold scallop guys, I use IGI 6046 um, coconut paraffin and I use a CD18 wick. And let's see, after one hour I got excellent melt pool and after one hour of, of on the scallop I got uh, excellent HD, beautiful, and an okay uh, melt pool. So I could, I could, if I wanted to, wick up on this one. And um, for the Vibar, guys, the Vibar was excellent at the test. Uh, unfortunately, because I used the wrong wick, wick size, because I didn't know, I didn't have a small one like that. Um, so I say after one hour, after a little bit of over an hour, the melt pool was average. Uh, the, the HT was great, I mean, was good, excellent in all of them, except the, uh, the, the clear one. The clear one, uh, the male pool was excellent, the heat throw was poor. So, I'm gonna give it a shake. It works, Vibar bar works. Okay guys, so, that's, and then, on the final test, because I haven't shown you guys yet, this is the uh, the one that I... So this has, hasn't has even been up uh, on for an hour. So the mail pool is uh, kind of uh, working. It's a work in progress. But the HT, unbelievable guys. And here I'm using 464 wax. Um, with the special fragrance blend that I have. It's in bergamot and ambergris. Big leaf and galbanum and blue jasmine and royal fern. And this is my favorite fragrance from all the test candles that I've, that I've done, guys. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making a candle just with this, and I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see which uh, wax I'm gonna be using next for this. I'm gonna see if I can get a nice heat throw using paraffin and coconut. And or coconut and apricot and, and just that's gonna be another video. Okay guys, so uh, but this is the way I'm testing now. This is the way this is the first testing that I'm doing uh, on in all these candles. So I'm gonna come back in an I'm gonna come back in another hour and I'm just gonna give you my final results, okay? Yes! Okay guys, so I have a question for you. 
Um, I see this the flame. Do you think it's too big? I'm gonna put a posting on, on the Facebook uh, group. Um, Okay guys, so before I go, and let me just go and check in the other, on the other candles that I'm testing. It's been three hours now. It's been over three hours. And I just wanna see uh, how we're doing. This is the amber, the amber candle. So it's been three hours. So I see that the wick is too small. And there's no scent. So I'm just gonna turn this off. And I wanted to reuse the, uh, the the vessel, but I'm gonna do that in another video. Okay, let's come over here. Uh, it's really sad. I don't smell really anything. Okay, this is the other candle here that I got. I got a very good uh, milk pool, um, but I have no centro. So again, I'm gonna just turn it up. I know it's good. Uh, Good mail pool, but not enough uh, HT. So again, I'm not gonna be burning it anymore because why to waste my time? Then the next candle. That I have in here. It's like I wish this mail was better. Okay, this is my favorite candle guys. This is the one that I really did the double wicking and this is the one that's giving me the best result. Perfect mail pool and at the best HT. Yes! This is the winner. So this one I'm gonna keep uh, testing all the way down because I know that's the perfect combination. So I'm gonna be test do doing any more power testing. Uh, I'm gonna do another. Uh, the way you're supposed to test candle, guys, is you have to put supposed to like um, in a four-hour increment. And uh, now it's it's almost it's over three hours. So I'm gonna tomorrow I'm gonna test it for four hours, and the day after I'm gonna test it for four hours. I wanna make I wanna see I wanna doc document how long does, does the candle last. So when I'm gonna go when I'm go when I'm gonna go sell that formula, I know I have an idea how long it's gonna take. That's gonna take uh, that, that's gonna last. Okay, this candle here is the one that I did with the colors. Uh, I'm not getting any centro either. And the pool is very poor. Again, this needs to be quick up. These big vessels like these guys are very tricky. Uh, sometimes you're better off doing a, a double a double wig instead of using one big uh, wig. Uh, because I think you, wanna, you don't wanna have this huge flame going. Okay, so let me bring the candles here. Fail, fail, and fail. So I'm gonna let this cool. Okay guys, so I just, that's it for the video, okay? So uh, again, um, thank you for subscribing to my channel, guys, and share my content with all you uh, members of the group, and on to the next one, guys. Take care, and bye.